Hey you guys, what's up? It's your girl Raya. Today I'm here to show you how to use Ethereum naming service ENS domains. So what is an ENS domain? Essentially, it's your Web3 identity. Uh, most commonly, ENSs are used to designate an Ethereum wallet address. So all of the Ethereum addresses are 64 characters long. They're a combination of very complicated numbers and letters, and they are virtually impossible to memorize. But if you designate your ENS, you don't need to memorize it. Um, for instance, my ENS is Rhea.eth. And when friends or our family are trying to send me crypto, they just have to send it to Rhea.eth. So it's very simple. It makes life so easy. Um, another common use case for ENS is that it can be the domain name of a website. And lastly, um, socially speaking, a lot of Web3 thought leaders have been using their ENSs um, like as their social media handle or username to kind of just show solidarity um, with the Ethereum ecosystem and to show that they support the scaling of ETH. Uh, most recently, we actually saw Paris freaking Hilton change her Twitter username to parishilton.eth, which is, I mean, just insane. So today I'm going to show you guys how to copy your own ENS. We're actually going to mint ours from the official website. Um, and when I say mint, I mean mint the NFT because ENSs are um, designated as NFTs. And then I'm also going to show you guys how to go on OpenSea and how to make offers um, on the secondary market in case the ENS you like is, you know, already taken. And lastly, I'm going to show you a tool. I believe it's actually called ENS.tools. Um, and it's a tool to filter through uh, currently expired or expiring ENSs. Uh, maybe actually all ENSs, but it's a tool that gives you more information on when they're expiring, how much they cost, when the price is going to go down. And it's just a very easy helpful way to like make the best decision when you're looking to buy one. Okay, so let's get started. To begin, we're going to head on over to the website ens.domains. Make sure you have the correct URL. We're going to go ahead and we're going to launch the application. Connect your wallet to the website. Okay, now let's search for some names. So for the purpose of this video, I'm actually trying to buy my real name as my ENS. So let's search Natalie. It looks like this is unavailable until 5-2022. Um, so obviously you could wait to purchase at the time of expiration, but I, I want to buy mine right now. So let's try Natalie OX. Awesome. Okay. So this is available. Now the price you end up paying for your ENS depends on how much gas is at the moment. Um, currently gas is 120 guay, so I'm definitely going to be overpaying, but the typical fee structure is three character names are $640 a year, four character names are $160 a year, and five or more character names are only $5 a year. So obviously I'm not paying $5 a year, I'm paying $126 a year, or I'm sorry, $126 total, but you know what, let's, let's just buy it, I really want it. <laughs> So I'm going to designate a two year registration period and I'm going to hit request to register. Confirm it in your wallet. And now the transaction is pending. Now we have to wait for one minute. This is to ensure that another person isn't trying to register the name at the exact same time as you. And then we just hit complete. Confirm within your wallet. And the final transaction is pending. Okay, looks like we got our name. How exciting. Okay, now let's head on over to my account. 
Here's where all the names that you own will be listed. So in this wallet, I only have natalieox.eth. The next step will be to set a reverse record. This is what will give a specific ENS name to a given address. So there can be circumstances, like I said earlier, where you have more than one ENS name within your wallet. And in that case, you wanna pick a specific name that is you know, going to identify the wallet. So we don't have that issue here because we only have one name, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set it. And like always, we're gonna have to confirm within our wallet. Now that I've refreshed the page, if you take a look on the left-hand corner, instead of the 64 character address, you see natalieox.eth. So clearly it worked. You can also go to Etherscan and it will show your ENS name to natalieox.eth. Perfect. A really cool feature that they actually have is you can go ahead and tie other personal information to your account. So for instance, your email address or some of your socials like Discord, GitHub, Reddit, and even Twitter. This might not seem like an important thing, but there are a lot of big crypto accounts out there and they tend to have a lot of impersonators. So by tying your official Twitter to your official ENS, it's a way of verifying on the blockchain that your account is legitimate. And, you know, that's just, I mean, that's, that's really cool. So yeah, you can go ahead and, you know, fill this out at your own discretion, but it's just something extra that I think is cool to do. So in the event that a name you really, really want, you cannot live without, you absolutely must have, in the event that it's already been registered to another wallet or another person has it, you're still able to go on NFT marketplaces and make offers on it. So this is like an NFT uh, secondary marketplace. You're not minting directly, but you're able to make offers. So let's go ahead and let's try to find uh, the name we initially wanted, natalie.eth, and let's see if we might get lucky. So it looks like this isn't for sale. It's owned by 14.0EF0. They minted it about two years ago and no one has made an offer on it as of today. Now we're able to go ahead and make an offer, whether or not they accept it, of course, is at their discretion, but this is just another way that you might have a shot of getting you know, a name that you really, really want. Obviously, since we already minted something so similar, I'm not gonna make an offer, but you are able to do that. All you have to do is connect your wallet and literally make an offer and confirm it within your wallet. So I'm not gonna show you guys how to do that because that's pretty self-explanatory, but this is, this is how it's done. This is where it's done. The last thing I wanna really quickly show you guys is a website called ens.tools. And it's just a way to keep an eye on different names. So you're able to make a favorites list with you know any names that you might wanna just keep checking up on you know to see if they have maybe been up for a listing, if someone has bought them, um, if the expiration date has changed and maybe someone has increased their registration time. One of my favorite things to use this website for though is to see what has currently expired. Now, pay attention to the premium. The way that ENS works is at the time of expiration of a specific name, if you wanna go ahead and purchase it, it costs, <laughs> it costs $100,000. Now this number goes down with time. Um, as you can see, three minutes in, it's at 99,993, but you know, 22 hours later, it's down 4,000. Um, and you know, eventually it goes back to the original price. And you're also able to see what's about to be expired. You know, potentially if you wanna make offers, um, they have a search tool. So going back to our original name choice that we had liked was Natalie, right? you can see all the names that have Natalie in, you know, in the name somewhere. So like Natalie Kelly, Natalie Bravo. And you know, it would tell you if any of them were up for listing, what the price is, the length of the name, if there's a premium on it. Obviously here there's no premium because these have not expired yet. But yeah, it's just another tool to use when making a decision about purchasing. So I hope this video was helpful. Go ahead and leave a like, subscribe if you want, 
and comment down below if there's anything else you guys would like to see.